Welcome back to Let's Play The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm just doing my best Doom 3 impression. <laughs> uh, this guy for money? Yes. Oh, I didn't actually climb up there and uh, get those guys yet. Under the dumbass opening. Last time, I got my DNA in the database. Which again, seems way early in the campaign to be doing that. Even these tiny shadows. Oh! Pale male classics. Warning for masculinity for masculinity substitution only. Yeesh. Uh, pack 13, Basilica Interior, uh, Interior Detail 7. Dramatic. Well, now I know where you are, dumbass. It's really convenient if I had a grenade or something. Real fucking shame I don't have any more nano med cartridges. Okay, where does the beam of his flashlight go? when he's peeking. Because if I can sneak right up to him, I can just blow his fucking head off with a shotgun. But that, you know... I'm caught out in the open. I'm fucked. This flies. There's a must be a garbage can there. Where in the hell did you come from? He must have spawned that guy in when I went up to the upper landing. No two ways about it. Screenshot of that. Well, I guess I can go back to the footage, but you know. Hey, I killed your partner, and now I've killed you. I don't know if that bothers you. flashing in there. Oh, I thought I saw flashing in there. Like there was a packet of cigarettes in there. It's blue right here! 
Rest in peace, fuckos. Huh. What those helmets remind me of? The, uh... The Robocop reboot. Noted. Zoom out, I appreciate that. Why can't I fucking stand up? I'm trying to climb on top of this box. I guess if you're not crouching down, you just aren't stealthy in the slightest, and they can see you even in the dark. I tried that, that didn't work. Well, if I die, now I'll know better. Got a dead body here. Oh, fuck. Really? And now there's two dead bodies here. No, oh, no, not that one, that one. The sustain. I thought it was an item he dropped. What is it? Is that my controller or the game being fidgety? I sure hope it's the uh, latter. not go that way. I don't have a choice. Let's heal before we go that way. Oh, that's why he leans on it. There are two buttons on it. You have to press them both at the same time so that you're standing in the right spot for the uh, injectors. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Here we go! See shit. Fuck. That was really dumb, in my defense. I was able to hit that guy. This thing is so inaccurate. You think you have a chance? That was great last words. I'm impressed. <laughs> you really think you have a chance? Oh, fuck! It's a fucking 
fucking robot. There's a mech in there. I mean, it's it's a stupid robot, but... Okay, obviously I can't just stab it in the back, but... Maybe if I can get behind it without it noticing, I can, like... You know, open a pa There's, like, a QTE to open a panel and... Fucking rip the guy out or something? Which way? Which way? No! Oh, fuck. I was panicking. I couldn't remember the button to stand up. Terribly. I mean, those guys are dead, yeah, but fuck, man. So far, so good. I know we can't get up here. Well, that's problematic. He's just passed himself directly under me.
Does that ever work? I'm curious. Oh. No Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Yeah. Oh no! these things. And you know it's not going to be the only one. of smokes. Pack number 27 found. Light guard. The beetle blend. Roach may obstruct throat if swallowed. That's just a t bad pun. I think it's, uh... I don't remember what kind of cigarette a roach is. I was about to say it's one you've already smoked. That's just a butt. I wonder. Nope, can't drag that body. It's a shame the model fucked up, but... All the same. Get to the health thingy. Fine. So I swing that thing since I hadn't actually used it yet. Ah. Loading screen. See, I figured that the tutorial level would end with a scene like that, except that at the end, I, the door, the, you know, I would go up to the top level, and there would be a shitload of goons there with guns, as opposed to, you know, it all being a dream. A friend of mine suggested because uh, the very first thing that happens is that you murder Johns. So a friend of mine suggested that the reason he's alive in pitch black is, you know, oh, it's future medicine. And that's why he becomes an addict, uh, dealing with the pain pills. Get some water. Ah, that's good water. So, D uh, I've known this for a while. Vin Diesel is, uh, kind of a huge nerd, actually. Despite the way he looks. The special forces are clean sweeping the block. Fight yourself through it to the courtyard. Great. I'll just do it here, then. The, uh... Yeah, he's way into video games. He... I believe he likes anime. And... He, and Vin Diesel fucking loves Dungeons and Dragons. Played the shit out of it when he was in college, apparently. I actually heard somewhere that uh, he worked with the creators of Pitch Black to develop the character of uh, Riddick, and he and you know, Vin based him on a character he played once in D and D. I don't know if that's true or not, but I really love that, and I hope it's true. Uh, actually, one of the companies that helped make this game, Tygon Studios, uh, that's a game developer founded by Vin Diesel, just because he's 
you know, really into this into this kind of thing. Apparently, including uh, an HD re uh, res of Escape from Butcher Bay in the Assault on Dark Athena package was uh, Tygon's idea. Um, the Xbox 360 famously missed a step compared to the PlayStation 3. What am I thinking of? In that it couldn't play uh, all original Xbox games. They had to. They had a list of games you could play, and uh, the rest had to be. Well, they had a list of games they could play based on, you know, which ones they had so reverse engineered through software, like which games they could emulate if you put them in the in the uh, tray. And some of them came with, you know, some of them came with stuff like they're based on the same basic tech. So there were some weird ones in there that you know they wouldn't necessarily go out of their way to get, like infamously, I think Barbie Horse Adventures was on there. But uh, some AAA titles were not. Um, and I mention this because apparently it worked out that something about the tech they did they used to make this game, the original version of this game, which was uh, started out as an Xbox exclusive, uh, meant that it couldn't be reverse engineered onto the Xbox 360 in the way that they did the other games. So it couldn't become backwards compatible with Escape from Butcher Bay. So Tygon said, you know, well, fuck it. We we are, uh, you know, we we're really proud of the Escape storyline. You know, we want people to see the Butcher Bay story. So when they did this sequel for the Xbox 360, they threw in Escape from Butcher Bay in order to help this game see an even wider audience. And I think that's really cool of them. Alright, uh... I just thought I'd mention that. I'm burning dog face. Aw, oh, damn it. That was also a sneeze. My bad. I'm burning dog face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. I'm not looking forward to facing the uh, special forces clearing out the block with only three health, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. Later!